An ACL rupture or injury is at the very least a season-ending injury for an elite or even a novice skier, which can lead to long stretches of rehabilitation and surgical management. Now, the ACL is an intra-articular or within-the-knee ligament that promotes too much sagittal plane motion of the tibia, this bone right here, versus the femur, which is this bone here. So we can actually see a decent representation of the ACL. It's not, you know, quite perfect, but it does an okay job of representing that anterior cruciate ligament. And the mechanism of injury biomechanically for an ACL injury is when we have a little bit of knee flexion, our knee rotates inwards like this, and then it buckles into what's called a valgus motion here. So what we wanna to do to avoid this kind of injury is we wanna actually strengthen a lot of the stabilizers of the knee. Oddly enough though, there aren't a bunch of huge muscles that cross this knee joint in order to prevent a lot of the things that I just talked about as far as the biomechanical motions that will cause that injury. Actually, a lot of these really big muscles that stabilize the knee are located a little bit more proximally, a little bit up higher, up in the hip. And these hip muscles are crucial in decreasing the incidences of knee pain and also ACL injury. So there isn't a whole bunch of information regarding preventative strengthening measures for ACL injuries in skiers. However, there is a lot of information regarding prevention of ACL injuries in soccer players. And most of these prevention strategies, most of these strengthening sort of exercises that people do to prevent ACL injuries in soccer players aren't necessarily strengthening a bunch of knee muscles, but are really focused on strengthening the hip muscles and increasing their ability to stabilize the knee as it moves through a range of motion and as it absorbs that shock. So in this blog post, we're talking about a lot of the different uh, things that can happen that can lead to an ACL injury. And then we're also going to talk about some of the ways that we can try and prevent these ACL injuries, whether that be changing our DIN settings, making sure that they're correct for our height, age, terrain, and our weight. And then also making sure that we have a really strong stabilizing muscles up in our hip so that we can decrease the amount that this happens, or when this does happen, we make sure that we have a really good catching mechanism up in our hip to decrease the amount of stress that's placed on that ACL.